All right, guys, it is skunk skinning day. Uh, had a lot of requests for a video on how I skin my skunk, so figured I'll do a video today. I'm actually waiting on some still to thaw out. Uh, I freeze all mine on the carcass until I have time to do them, and time is now to do them. But we got this nice, beautiful, beautiful skunk here we're gonna skin for you guys. Um, so I'll, I'll kind of show you the opening up process, uh, and then I'll put it up there and I'll skin it down, and then I'm gonna show essence removal too. Uh, I might do a put up video later, but I'm not putting up skunks right now. Uh, we're more focused on putting up coons right now. So, anyways, guys, I'll get the camera readjusted here and we'll get rolling. All right, so hopefully you guys can see. I got my skunk here laying on his back. Uh, this is the knife I use, it's just a boning knife. Uh, it's got a really fine tip on it, though, and that's important when skinning these things. On what I do, just like my coon, I always start on this ankle for some reason but I'm just gonna cut around this ankle and get it opened up. And I like to just use the fine tip knife for all this. The fine tip doesn't matter that much for opening up that ankle, but you guys can see there now, we have that one ankle freed up. Uh, so we're gonna actually hang this up now on my gambrel. Uh, I don't actually have one of my normal speed gambrels for this. Uh, my one for coons is too wide, so I use a chain one until I can get a better one, but we'll get him hung up here and uh, We'll continue skinning this thing. All right, so I'm gonna try and keep this in the frame here the best I can. Uh, but you can see I got this gambrel. There's two chains on it. Uh, it's definitely not as fast as my normal, normal gambrel. But this one works just fine for skunk. So we're gonna make us a loop with, out of that dog chain there. Hang it up, make sure the hair below that ankle's freed up so when I cut across, um, none of it's going to be stuck up underneath that chain. Then we're going to come to the other ankle, do the exact same thing. I'm just going to ring around that ankle. Um, and I'd advise not cutting that Achilles on them because then it's going to want to pull. Uh, that Achilles is going to want to pull when you're pulling the flanks down on this skunk. And that's just a pain to free up. So now we're going to take our knife and essentially just like a coon, we're going to make what they call the money cut. Uh, just right across here below the vent. Um, and you want to make sure you're just barely underneath the, the skin in case the pods come all the way down there. So now that we got that cut across there, um, this one I go ahead, before I hang up the other foot, I like to just open up the back end. And this is the, this is the smelly part um, if you don't watch yourself. This, this is where that fine tip knife really comes in important. Um, you can see we got the vent here. And we're going to have two essence pods on each side of this vent. Um, and basically you want to stay very shallow as far as right underneath the fur to avoid clipping any of those. So I like to go, I don't know, probably an inch or two um, above that vent. Then work down and you guys can see how I'm really pulling up on my knife to keep it right against the fur and not pressing down into those essence pods. Um, also don't apply and we're going to do the same thing on the other side here too um, this side normally doesn't cut quite as smoothly for me simply because of the angle but i'm going to pull this pelt up when i'm doing it like this if i can't get it on one cut i'm going to pull this pelt up and make sure i got my knife shallow it's important in that area uh, otherwise it is really going to stink um, so we got as you can see here here's kind of our cuts that we made um, came in at the base of the tail, around the vent on one side, around the vent on the other side. Now I'm gonna come in here and just split the tail down oh, a couple inches. Uh, there's no real science behind that. Just to kind of free up that tail. Now we're gonna hang up the other ankle. Make sure that fur is free below the ankle. Hopefully I'm still in frame here. Yep, looks like we're good. So now we're sitting here and this is how our skunk's sitting. And you guys have seen, if you watch my coon skinning video, I pull flanks with vice grips. Uh, not near as necessary with a skunk, but I still like it. Um, especially just to start them, just like that. Uh, that saves my fingers from having to work and dig in there. And then from there, I'll take my hand in here and I'll just roll that back. And you notice how I'm applying the rolling pressure to the back of the animal and I'm not pushing against those essence pods. If you push against those essence pods, you're going to have a bad day. Uh, you'll, you'll have some that are going to 
make you smell really good. So again, I got that flank freed up in my vice grips. Now I'm rolling it away from the essence pods. Right there. And we're gonna get down to where, these are the pods right here, guys. Those are the pods. That is where all the smell is. If I squeezed it, you guys would see. I'm not going to, I'm not going to. But that is where the smell is. So what I do is at this point, I remove the pods from the animal uh, just because that eliminates all the stink. Uh, so what I do is this little diamond shape, I guess, if you will, around the vent. I grab the fur uh, right behind where that vent is. And notice how I'm lifting it up. And you can see those pods start to separate from the carcass um, right here and right here. And you want to stay well below those uh, while you're cutting these. And I cut all the way until I'm on the other side. Then I'll come in on one side and cut that. Come in on the other side, cut that. And those are the pods. I know there's a lot of fat and stuff on them and a lot of guys like them cleaner, but um, that's what we're gonna take all the essence out. I just like to get it off the animal. It makes the rest of the skinning process a lot easier. I throw them all in a bucket um, and I'll remove the essence at the end. But now, I just like to trim a little bit of this fat, uh, just so I don't break the tail when I'm pulling on it. Uh, if you break the tail out of the base, it can be kind of a pain. Now we're going to take my, my steel rod, run it in through the base of the tail. And on coons, you guys have seen me just pull it down. <clears throat> um, a lot of times you're going to end up ripping this tail out of there if you do that on skunks. I just like to gently kind of roll it back and forth. And it brings that tail right down. And then I take my knife, just kind of clip this fat a little bit. Uh, just to kind of free that up. Not necessary on all of them, but you'll have some that have a ton of fat right here uh, and you really need to cut it to get that tail to pull. And now we're going to use my tail puller. Uh, these are pretty cheap. Buy them online. Put that on there. One hand up at the base of the tail. And this is why I removed those essence pods. If I didn't do that, my hand would be right on those essence pods, pushing right on them when I'm pulling this tail. So I remove them. One hand up here pushing the animal away, the other arm pulling down, and those tails come right out of there. Normally, very easily. And now I'm just gonna take my knife. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do this part in the skinning process, but I'm just gonna zip that tail down. Gets that tail all opened up nice uh, to where that's ready to flesh. So we'll go to the belly side, and I just pull them by hand. Now uh, they're fairly easy to do. I free up that belly to where you're looking like that. I'll try and keep it framed the best I can here. And then I grab the base of that tail. And I'm just going to pull all the way down to the shoulders. And now you can see those arms started coming out there. Now I'm just going to take my thumb. Notice how I got my hand back here. I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to just push it right through. Just like that. And now I'm going to take my two fingers and pull that leg just like that. And we'll cut that here in a second. But again, other one, take my thumb, put my fingers there and almost make a twisting motion and run that thumb right through there. That one actually just came right off. That was pretty slick. Normally, normally on skunks, you gotta cut them. They have a relatively thick leather to them uh, for such a small animal. But now, shoulders are done, freed up. All we got left is the head. And skunks got a really little head. Uh, they can be difficult. If you don't know what you're doing, um, it's basically like a small coon head is all it is. But it, right here, we're going to have an ear here and an ear here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a cut along that forehead, find exactly where those ear cartilages are, make one cut on that ear, and you can see that ear's freed up. Come over to the other side, do the same thing. Now I have both ears freed up. Now I just give it a little bit of a pull you can start to see where this red membrane comes up. That's where the eyeballs are on these little fellers. So we're just gonna cut there. Sorry guys, I'm doing the best I can for self-filming here. We got that eye freed up, you can see, uh, cut perfectly. There's no fur left on that eye, eye socket. Come here, cut the other one. And notice as I did that, I also freed up the jaw. I do the same thing on my coon. As I'm cutting the eyes, I roll it down to free up uh, and open up that jaw. I did the same thing on this side. Just free that eye socket up a little bit more there. And then I give it a little bit of pull, a little cut around the, the mouth there. 
another little bit of a pull. Sometimes they'll just come right off with the nose. Other times you'll sit there. Now that that bottom lip's freed up, all we got left is that nose cartilage. We're gonna cut that off. And there's our skin skunk. And guys, these little suckers here are worth some good money, uh, especially a good typical black and white striped one like that. That's a good, good high dollar big skunk there. Uh, they fetch pretty good money if you find the right buyers. So worth the stink. I just take my skin skunk, throw it in the cart there. Um, and you guys know from my videos um, that I shoot everything with a pellet gun. Uh, this one is actually conibear, but I'm shooting them with a pellet gun and where I'm aiming is right behind this shoulder right here that is where i'm shooting them if i'm shooting them with a pellet gun because that saves this skull and these tiny little skulls they're nasty little suckers they're cool little skulls but those have value as well so we're going to go ahead and harvest that uh on skunks i just make one cut there uh, along the esophagus there and then i just give it a twist and all we got is a little bit of meat left on there uh, you could just pull that off i like to cut it because that gives us a nice clean um, clean skunk skull there but yeah they're pretty they're pretty neat little dudes pretty neat so that's how I skin my skunks guys uh, we're gonna do essence removal here in a second uh, <laughs> it won't be right now for me but for you it will be right after this clip of video so anyways guys yeah that's how I skin a skunk uh, next thing you'll see is the smelly part all right guys now hopefully you can see Kind of what I got going on here, yeah. So we got <clears throat> empty skunk pods sitting here uh, that I've already emptied. We got our jar of skunk essence. You can see I got a little, little obnoxious with some on the top there. Uh, then we got our full pods here. So what I'm using, uh, this is a 20 milliliter syringe uh, with, a, with a needle on it, uh, just a matching needle for the syringe. Uh, that's what I'm using to pull, pull this essence out of these pods. I'll try and find a good one. So you guys saw me pull out those pods and I was skinning that. Uh, that's what they look like. There's two of them right there. And what you wanna do is you wanna just take this needle and find that cavity. On the bigger ones like this, it's a lot easier to do. Uh, get it in that cavity, cinch it up, then that syringe will just start filling up. Uh, once it kinda collapses itself in so much, you kinda gotta move it around a little bit. Uh, to make sure you're getting all the essence out of there. Sucker's actually got a pretty good little amount of essence in it. I like to give it just a little squeeze just to make sure there's nothing left in there. Um, and there we go. We pulled a good little chunk of essence out of that one pod there. Uh, you do have to poke both pods. Uh, there's no way that I know of where you can get them out of two pods at the same time. But then I'm just taking this and pushing it right into my jar. Uh, it's kind of tedious work, but well worth it. Uh, we're actually sitting right at about 12 ounces right now, and we're probably about halfway done. So again, this other pod, I like to stand them up vertical. I think it gets all the pressure from that essence down to the bottom. It makes it easier to extract it. But just cinch that up once you get it in the cavity. You can see it's not coming right now at all. Uh, that's because my needle's touching the bottom and you lift it up a little bit and then it comes flying in there so sometimes you just got to wiggle the needle around a little bit but it'll come out if you're in that cavity so this side here actually looks like it might have a little more essence than the other side did which certainly does happen make sure that one's empty and you guys can see i'm squeezing that there's nothing left in that cavity now pull it out put it in the old jar here and you guys can about imagine how this smells uh, if you don't like the smell of skunks this ain't for you that's for dang sure that squeezed in there yeah that's how I do it set that one over there grab another pod and just keep doing that over and over again so pretty simple guys I kind of wanted to put this all in one video to kind of have a all together skinning and essence removal skull removal uh, pod removal all that kind of stuff in one video for these skunks so anyways i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, until next time thanks for watching